Welcome to my new video. In my videos, you will not only find famous quotes and proverbs, but I will also explain their meaning. Because, I wish that even after death, I can convey the explanation of these famous sayings to everyone. Without further delay let the video begin. Life can only be understood backwards, but it must be lived forwards. This quote by Soren Kierkegaard suggests that the true meaning and significance of our lives can only be fully comprehended when we look back on our experiences and reflect on them. This quote implies that we should embrace the present and live our lives fully without worrying too much about the future or dwelling too much on the past because the true significance of our experiences may only become clear to us in retrospect. The function of prayer is not to influence God, but rather to change the nature of the one who prays. This quote by Soren Kierkegaard suggests that, the true purpose of prayer is not to ask God for something, or to try to influence God's actions or decisions. In essence, Kierkegaard's quote suggests that, prayer is not about trying to change external circumstances or outcomes but rather about changing oneself from within. It is a way of seeking personal growth and transformation, rather than a means to control or influence the world around us. Life is not a problem to be solved, but a reality to be experienced. This quote by Soren Kierkegaard means that, life is not something to be figured out or solved like a mathematical problem. This quote encourages us to embrace the uncertainties of life, to take risks, and to find meaning in our experiences, rather than trying to control or solve everything. To dare is to lose one's footing momentarily. Not to dare is to lose oneself. The first part of the quote, to dare is to lose one's footing momentarily, suggests that taking risks involves stepping into the unknown and that this can be a scary and unsettling experience. The second part of the quote, not to dare is to lose oneself, suggests that not taking risks can also be detrimental. Overall, the quote encourages individuals to take calculated risks and step outside their comfort zone to experience personal growth and avoid feeling stagnant in life. Our life always expresses the result of our dominant thoughts. This quote by Soren Kierkegaard suggests that, if we consistently have negative or self-defeating thoughts, we are more likely to experience negative outcomes in our lives. On the other hand, if we have positive and constructive thoughts, we are more likely to experience positive outcomes and success. This quote encourages us to be mindful of our thoughts and to strive for positive and constructive thinking. Most men pursue pleasure with such breathless haste, that they hurry past it. This quote by Soren Kierkegaard means that many people, particularly men, are so focused on chasing pleasure that they fail to fully appreciate or enjoy it when they actually experience it. This quote is a reminder to slow down, take a breath, and appreciate the pleasures that life has to offer. There are two ways to be fooled. One is to believe what isn't true, the other is to refuse to believe what is true. The second way to be fooled, according to Kierkegaard, is by refusing to believe what is true. This can happen when we ignore evidence or dismiss information that contradicts our preconceived beliefs or biases. It encourages us to be skeptical of information and to seek out evidence before accepting it as true. At the same time, it reminds us of the danger of clinging to beliefs that are not supported by evidence and the importance of being willing to accept uncomfortable truths. Life has its own hidden forces, which you can only discover by living. The quote by Soren Kierkegaard suggests that life holds many unknown or mysterious forces that cannot be understood or discovered unless one actually experiences and lives through them. In other words, 
The true essence of life and its hidden forces can only be comprehended by living and going through various experiences. The most painful state of being is remembering the future, particularly the one you'll never have. This quote by Soren Kierkegaard speaks to the pain and sadness that can come from imagining a future that one will never be able to experience. In such a situation, the pain comes from the knowledge that the future you had envisioned for yourself is no longer possible and that you will never be able to experience the happiness or fulfillment that you had hoped for. Overall, this quote highlights the power of hope and imagination in shaping our experiences of the world and the deep pain that can come when those hopes and dreams are shattered. During the first period of a man's life, the greatest danger is not to take the risk. This quote by philosopher Soren Kierkegaard suggests that, during the early years of a person's life, the biggest danger is not taking risks. Kierkegaard believed that taking risks and stepping out of our comfort zones is essential for personal growth and fulfillment. This quote encourages people to embrace opportunities and take risks in order to grow and live a fulfilling life. To cheat oneself out of love is the most terrible deception. It is an eternal loss for which there is no reparation, either in time or in eternity. This quote by Soren Kierkegaard suggests that denying oneself the opportunity to experience love is a significant loss that cannot be made up for either in this life or in the afterlife. Kierkegaard may be suggesting that love is one of the most important aspects of human existence and that without it, life is incomplete. In essence, Kierkegaard's quote is a warning against denying oneself the opportunity to love and be loved, as it is a loss that can never be fully repaired. People settle for a level of despair they can tolerate and call it happiness. The quote by Soren Kierkegaard suggests that some individuals may experience feelings of despair, but instead of taking steps to overcome it, they accept it as their reality and learn to live with it. Overall, the quote implies that true happiness requires individuals to confront their fears and take action to improve their lives, rather than simply settling for a tolerable level of despair. Hope is passion for what is possible. This quote by Soren Kierkegaard suggests that hope is not just a passive feeling or wishful thinking, but an active and dynamic force that drives us towards what is possible. In other words, hope is not simply a vague sense of optimism, but rather a passionate commitment to creating a better future. The unhappy person is never present to themselves because they always live in the past or the future. This quote by Soren Kierkegaard suggests that people who are unhappy tend to be preoccupied with either the past or the future rather than focusing on the present moment. In order to cultivate greater happiness, it is important to learn to be fully present in the moment, to practice mindfulness, and to let go of regrets about the past or anxieties about the future. Wherever there is a crowd, there is untruth. When individuals are part of a crowd, they may feel pressured to conform to the group's beliefs or opinions, even if they don't agree with them. As a result, false or misleading information can spread quickly within a crowd, as people are more likely to accept and repeat information that aligns with the group's beliefs, rather than questioning it critically. Kierkegaard's quote also suggests that individuals are more likely to be truthful and authentic when they are alone or in small groups rather than in large crowds. In contrast, when people are part of a crowd, they may feel pressured to conform to the group's beliefs or opinions, even if they don't truly believe them. Geniuses are like thunderstorms. They go against the wind, terrify people, clear the air. First, like thunderstorms, geniuses go against the wind, 
meaning they often challenge prevailing ideas and norms. Just as thunderstorms can be frightening and unsettling, the ideas and actions of geniuses can be unsettling and disruptive to those who are not accustomed to thinking outside the box. Their unconventional approaches and ideas can challenge people's comfort zones and provoke anxiety. They challenge us to think differently and can ultimately lead to progress and positive change. Overall, this quote suggests that geniuses may be unconventional and sometimes unsettling, but their contributions can ultimately lead to positive growth and development. The question is not to be or not to be, it is what we should be until we are not. This quote by Soren Kierkegaard suggests that the important question in life is not whether to exist or not but rather what we should do with our lives, until we cease to exist. Kierkegaard was a philosopher who focused on the individual's search for meaning and purpose in life. Anxiety is the dizziness of freedom. This quote by Soren Kierkegaard suggests that anxiety arises from the realization that we have the freedom to make our own choices and determine our own path in life. Therefore, anxiety can be seen as a natural consequence of the human experience of freedom and the responsibility that comes with it. The most common form of despair is not being who you are. In Danish philosopher Soren Kierkegaard's view, true happiness and fulfillment can only be achieved by embracing one's individuality and living in accordance with one's own beliefs and values. Thus, the quote suggests that it is essential for individuals to recognize and embrace their true selves in order to live a fulfilling life, free from despair and inner conflict. The tyrant dies and his rule is over, the martyr dies and his rule begins. This quote by the Danish philosopher Soren Kierkegaard reflects on the power of martyrdom in inspiring and perpetuating a cause, even after the death of the individual who sacrificed themselves for it. Therefore, the quote suggests that the power of a martyr's sacrifice can be enduring and far-reaching, inspiring others to continue their fight for justice or freedom long after they are gone. It highlights the transformative power of martyrdom, which can transform the individual into a symbol of hope inspiring others to take up their cause and continue their struggle. To venture causes anxiety, but not to venture is to lose oneself. And to venture in the highest is precisely to be conscious of oneself. This quote by philosopher Soren Kierkegaard suggests that stepping outside of one's comfort zone and taking risks can be intimidating and induce anxiety. However, if one does not take these risks, they may lose their sense of self or identity. Face the facts of being what you are, for that is what changes what you are. This quote by the Danish philosopher Soren Kierkegaard means that one must confront the truth about oneself, both the positive and negative aspects, in order to bring about personal growth and transformation. In essence, Kierkegaard is suggesting that self-awareness and self-acceptance are necessary steps towards personal transformation and development. To be a woman is something so strange, so confusing, and so complicated that only a woman could put up with it. This quote by philosopher Soren Kierkegaard suggests that being a woman is a unique and complex experience that can be difficult to understand or relate to for those who do not identify as women. Kierkegaard is implying that women have to deal with a lot of challenges, struggles, and contradictions that are often difficult to navigate, and that only a woman can truly understand the complexities of being a woman. Christ has not only spoken to us by his life, but has also spoken for us by his death. According to Kierkegaard, Christ's life and teachings serve as a message to people, providing guidance and direction on how to live a good life. 
In essence, the quote suggests that, Christ's death is an essential component of his message and mission, as it is through his sacrifice that he speaks on behalf of humanity, providing redemption and salvation. Thanks for watching.